Hey, what's up, yo? I just want to make this live video right now. My first time on Instagram. And I'm going to speak out real quick about this nature simp, nature boy, this clown, this maggot that calls himself the Messiah. Let me tell you something. I came out of a cult. My father was the leader of that cult. I know what it's like to be under a spell like him. I left my father in 2015. Okay, he publicly disowned me in front of the entire congregation, not only there, but all throughout this country, all throughout the world. He's throughout the world, the internet, everywhere. Everybody disowned me. They turned on me. I was, I was, I was excommunicated. And I know how these narcissists are. I know how these maggots work. I know how they operate and pray. They don't pray, but they prey on vulnerable women who come from many of them broken homes, but they even are master magicians at making people who are even normal think that they have a sickness and their cure is them. I'm the Messiah. I'm going to create you to be a hypochondriac so I can be the only one. I'm your CVS. I'm your Walgreens. Well, guess what? And this is from me straight to you, Nature Simp. You ain't no man. You a boy. Nature Boy fits you well. That's why I call you Nature Boy Simp. And I'm going to say this. Why? I talked to you in your live today. And I asked you a question. I said, at the end of the night, when you go to, when, when, when it's just you, I said it to you today, nature boy, simp. That's right, you're a boy. I said, when you are alone at night and you look in the mirror, do you realize that you're a narcissist and a manipulator? He goes, absolutely. And then I said, he goes, next question. I said, do you realize that those women behind you are living in fear? That you're preying upon vulnerable women, especially women from broken homes? And that these were, he looked at me and goes, how dare you disrespect black women, white boy? These are my women. You don't ever. And then he disconnected me from the wife. Why? Because he knew those women heard my voice. And secondly, let me tell you something. Right after I left... He went from saying, do you dare disrespect black women to saying, black men, we need to chastise. We need to put up, we need to discipline them. We need to do as the Muslims do and make them, we, we need to put them on, they are our enemy. He started talking about Dr. Dre, started calling him cunt, saying that they're the worst enemy of the black man, telling the black man, you need to sleep with as many black women when you're born as you can. That's, that, that's what you're supposed to do. So first of all, you got to, now, now listen, this is where it gets really good. Nature, nature Boy doesn't understand one thing about me. He woke a sleeping giant. He woke a real sleeping giant because right now, right now, as we speak, I am looking for anyone. And I already took all the content from YouTube. I am going to be documenting everything that I am doing. All this information alone. The one thing he said on YouTube about his son touching his penis should put him in prison. And I am gathering every single piece of information with help of law enforcement and my family to go to the FBI in Boston. And I'm letting nature boy simp know that one of his females at anyone, if, if, and, and I'm letting him know if, I, if, if one of your women come forward and speak the truth, brother, you're going to prison because guess what? There's a reason why so many people have been watching him get away with this for years. You want to know why? Many black folks out there may speak out about this, but guess what? When they go to the police, think about Jim Jones, the Jonestown Massacre. 
all those black folks that Jim Jones took to the Ghana to, 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 to drink the Kool-Aid. Do you, do, don't you think their families went to the police? Don't you think the women that, that, that are stuck in this maggots camp right now, their mothers and fathers are probably crying themselves to sleep and probably calling the police? And the police won't do nothing. Why? Because they're African-American. But guess what? He woke up a white boy. And he woke up a white boy that gives a shit about these African-American women, boys, and people that you are deceiving, people that you are using. I have smoke and gun evidence of you right now, enough to have this guy locked up, and I am looking for one thing. I need somebody that's willing to speak out. If you are willing to speak out, I guarantee you your safety. If you are a woman that wants to leave this camp, I will fly you directly out of there and bring you to safety to a safe house. I promise you with everything I love. Nature boy, listen to me. I'm coming for you legally. You ha If you had one of those girls, guess what? Just one. And trust me, I've already, listen, I have direct contact with law enforcement. I'll share my videos. I have, I have, I have a news anchor that says Ryan decided to work with law enforcement. I have the upper hand now because now a white boy is gonna go to the police and say, "Why aren't you going? At, why aren't you going to protect these these African American girls?" I'm bringing it to light, and I'm not gonna stop because guess what? All those loans that you have, the EBT cards that you're making them do, the the, the, the insurance fraud. How many of those girls probably, maybe PUA, DUA, you taking their money, boy? Yeah, you are because you're a little boy. You're a simp. You're a wannabe R. Kelly. You are, you are nothing more than a hurting little boy that has to put on his outward manifestation. And guess what? You're going to prison. Mock my words. Listen to me right now. I don't know anything about, like, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I, I love all people. I love all people. But what I don't love is a, is a, is a man or a male like you who prays, beats, stars, innocent women. You, do you realize that there is, enough, you, you, there is enough evidence just on YouTube to convict you and put you in prison? The problem is the right people haven't approached law enforcement. Guess what? You spoke to one who can. And I am not going to give up, my man, until you are locked up. Just the videos alone, all that information. I don't even understand how in the fuck you are on Beagle. How the fuck people are gifting you. Every fucking gift that goes to this guy is supporting pedophilia. Children, women being starved. Women being deceived. Women dying. I lived this life. I came out of it. And I'm going to do whatever I got to do. I'm telling you, nature. When I go to the FBI, right, on Monday, which is in Boston, where I'm going, and, I, and I'll do it on Instagram. So I'll bring, I'll bring Instagram with me. I'm telling you, all the information I already got just from your YouTube alone should lock you up. And if that doesn't, the insurance frauds that you're doing through the pandemic. I know you did a lot of that shit with those. So I'll get you there. Boy, there's two dead bodies I heard about. We're gonna look into we're gonna find out about that. And also about your little son touching your penis, man. You admitted on a, how the fuck does YouTube even leave that on? You admitted that your little boy rubs your dick and you ain't in prison. You know why? Because you didn't wake the right person. And today, what I saw of you and what you're doing, you woke someone who knows all about people like you. Because I escaped a man that's just like a male just like you. A maggot just like you. And I'm going to do everything in my God. -given. And let me tell you, if the FBI doesn't do anything, which I, I guarantee you they will. It's already, listen, listen. A family member of mine that works for the United Nations is already looking into your ass right now as we speak. Be on alert. Be, you better run and because you're not going to be able to hide. Trust me. You can't hide from the radio.
When you can't hide from the bird in the sky, that motherfucker's going to find you and I'm coming. And, and, and I'm telling you, if I can't get through, I will personally get a team together of men to go to your camp and expose the fuck out of you and say to every single one of those ladies, and I know that there's a few of them that probably want to escape, and if you do, I swear to you, I will give you my personal cell phone number. And if you need to leave that camp, I will personally fly you out of there to safety. Or I will go there and get you. I don't care where you are. Mark my words. This is my life mission. Nature boy simp. You think and you're going to laugh. And think that you can get away with what you're doing. But you're fucked with the wrong Italian. And now the Balbo is coming out. You're going down. Legally. Pretty soon. You're going to be sitting right next to fucking R. Kelly. Singing I believe I can fly. You're on notice. How do I end this shit? I just, I just want to make something really, really clear. I just walked into a, uh, a live panel where a lady was talking about my panel tonight, saying that I'm trying to talk about race. And I was called the white devil. And all these types of other names tonight. And... I'm trying to turn black women against black men. Let me tell you something. Listen to me. I have one fucking agenda. And get this through your minds. I don't give a shit what any of you say. Call me the white devil. Call me anything. I don't give a damn. Make your money. Do what you want. Be who you want. I want one fucking thing. From the bottom of my heart. Nature boy. That is it. I want him. Behind fucking prison walls. That's it. Let me tell you something right now. I don't care what anyone wants to say. I never, ever, ever said this about race. I said this statement. Let me pull up the receipt. Go back to the video. Go prices on YouTube somewhere. Because right now, I just came out of a piano where somebody who's a YouTuber that, I, I don't know, I'm not going to say anything bad about him, but the, in his, he's allowing this woman to say that I made this whole thing about race and, I'm, and, and, and my agenda. She thinks I have a secret agenda. What's my secret agenda? I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want followers. I, I don't have a YouTube. I don't want a platform. I don't give a fuck about Beagle. I don't care. I tell people not to gift me. Because... I give a shit about these these women. Do you get it? It's not about white or black. I'm saying I can't do it without all of you. But I need the brothers out there that could stand up for these women to help me. You guys, you guys talk about oppression and pain, and that's fine. But let me tell you something. I lived in a cult. I have protected the leader of the cult for so many years. Women have died in this cult. Women have hung themselves. And you think I'm coming on here to be some savior to the black woman? Fuck no. Get out your damn minds. People just do this, I swear. You guys, this is the problem. This is the problem. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. You're not looking at my heart. You're not looking at my character. You're looking at my color. So who's the true fucking racist here? Ask yourself that. Literally. Literally, I'm trying to do everything in my fucking power. Everything. In my, do you know what it's like when I saw... Nothing. When I saw the porno with the two girls having to do that to him... You know what that did to me? And you think this is about white or black motherfuckers? You don't understand my soul. I'm going to do everything in my power. With my own money. With everything I got. To put this man behind bars. And I'm not doing it for numbers, motherfucker. I'm not doing it for any platform to be a savior. I'm doing it for those women that are hurting.
Because you know what? I protected a man like that. And he's a maggot. He's he's fucking a tr he's a trash bag. It doesn't matter whether he's black, black or white. This isn't about color. This is about someone who's destroying women's lives. So if you want to know pain, wake up every day knowing you supported a man who caused the death of other women because I did. So fuck you with your racist bullshit. And go look in the mirror and ask yourself tonight, instead of calling me the white devil, maybe you should ask yourself, maybe I should examine my own heart. Maybe I may be the racist. Because I'm the one that's colorblind here. I'm the one that has tears coming out of my eyes for these girls while y'all making money off your fucking platforms. And then you take your platforms and you abuse these women. And I'm tired of it. And I'm going to stand up for everyone. Black, white, I don't give a fuck. Call me what you want. God knows my heart. Done. Well, what's up, everybody? I'm here. Right now, on my way to the AG's office, um, I'm inside of the uh, prison complex, of course. Um, so, uh, this is uh, pretty much uh, Nature Boy's new casa is going to be, maybe not geographically this location, but uh, he's going to be locked up. And uh, right now, I'm on my way to the AG's office. I'm getting there early. I want my paperwork ready. After that, um, I also am going to be heading over to a couple of news media outlets. And then um, I got to go up to Massachusetts in Boston for the uh, FBI office, the Federal Bureau of Investigations office in Boston, which is an hour away. And uh, over here, that's the mental institution that he belongs in. These are mental institutions, everything over here. So uh, right now, like I said, I, I have all the information. One of the big things that I have with him is uh, I have uh, I currently have received information that he might even, um, I think I'm 90% positive, already have a warrant for his arrest. And I do know his location. I have the exact location. Um, He's in a 4.8 star type place that has sleeps up to 40 people. And uh, right over here, we I'm here a little bit early, so um, I figured I'll come back. But this is uh, real quick. The, uh, this is where it's going to begin, folks. State of Rhode Island, Office of the Attorney General. Right up there. And... Uh, once I, I, I want to be prepared, so I want all my ducks in a row. I want me, I want to make sure that when I walk in, I have as much information as possible. But what I really, really do need, and I, even the lieutenant that I spoke to, which I'm, I'm so thankful, the lieutenant got back to me on a Sunday, um, and that's one of the good things that you know people can call me, uh, you know, this this white devil or this guy that wants to take women. Black women away from black men. No, 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 no. This is actually, uh, that's the maximum security prison where he belongs, actually. Um, but, yeah. Um, I'm just going to go over and get a coffee before I go back. But before I go, I just wanted to let you know, um, I'm doing this. And nothing's going to stop me. And uh, with the little bit of information that I do have, I mean, I have a lot of information. But... It, the biggest problem that I'm going to have is it's not smoking gun evidence. For instance, no victim, no witness, no crime. And, and, and this one thing I know about law from studying about it is I need a woman or a girl that is from co co combination to come forward, to come speak to me, to know that I'm not in this for the views. It's, it's 7.37 in the morning and I'm... I didn't sleep all night, and I have a meeting with the district attorney's office. I'm, 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 I'm exhausted, and I'm not giving up. I'll fight through this exhaustion. I'll do whatever I need to do to prove that we are going to take him down. But listen, this is not a white and black thing, like I said. This is a we together thing. We need to come together as a people and understand this man, this male, this maggot, this chump, this simp, this fake messiah is abusing 
and destroying women. And 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 listen, for all of you out there that are mad that that because of the color of my skin, just think about this, man. For a white guy to go in there and bring attention to this, and if they don't, I can do a lot more than if another a black guy goes in there. And I say this, why? Look at Jonestown Massacre with Jim Jones. Over 900 people were taken. 90% of them were African American. What were their families doing? Begging the police to get involved. Would the police do nothing? So maybe this is a time where you just need to let me use my cards to get this guy. Who gives a fuck what I am, where I come from? Just know I'm going to get him. It's over. It's a rat. Nature boy. You're going down. Alicio. Alicio at your old barber shop. You're going down. You can give fades in prison. That's what you can do. And then you can have them play doctor with you in there and do another porn. Because you're going down. I just need some espresso to wake up. And once I sit with this district attorney and I show him all the proper information and bring this to light, not only is it going to the district attorney, it's going to a senator who's a very close family friend who works in Washington. And trust me, once the media gets wind of this and black women come forward and speak about the truth of your abuse, you will never, ever be able to hurt another one again. And I'm going to hunt you to the day I die. So you better try to kill me, motherfucker. Nature boy. Elysium. Listen, bro. Your tactics tonight definitely didn't work against me. And I'm going to explain to you why. You wrote me, Elysio, and you said... <laughs> The f okay. The <laughs> I just I hung up on Alicio. I, I I just hung up on him. I, this guy's I I have never heard such fear in my life. First he told me he loved me, and then he tells me he's a nobody. <laughs> Why do I want to hurt him? He doesn't hold any. He's not doing anything wrong. Um. <laughs> it, it, it's just self victimization. Like you don't you don't know what I feel. <laughs> this guy really thought like so I'm sitting there and I'm listening to him and I'm like, all right. He's scared right now because he knows. And I'm listening to him and I'm like, this is this whole self victimization thing. You're sitting there you're sitting there and saying to me that you love me. First of all, brother. You can't love nobody. And for you to tell me you love me, because what this is this, and listen to me, this is exactly what these fools do when they know that the end is near. They 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 try to make friends with the people that are the enemy, the, the one that's coming after them. They try to, they, they, he thought he could get me, but he doesn't know that I was raised by someone just like him. So <laughs> my father used to do the same shit. And bro, listen, the fear that I heard in you, I almost wanted to, I almost felt bad for you. I, li listen, I've, in the first second, I felt bad for this guy because he's in so much fear. The way he was talking to me, he's in so much fear. I'm not holding no women against their will. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Why the police? Listen, 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 listen. Alicia, I told you, my word is my bond. Let them women go. I told him. I hung up on him. I, I I posted the picture where I hung up on him because I said, listen, you got till 9 a.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. You need to figure out a way to get those women back to their mothers and their fathers and their children. And stop with your self-victimization bullshit, bro, because I know you because I was raised by a you. And let me tell you something. You're going down irregardless. 
But if you don't let those girls go by 9 a.m. in the morning and you don't get them out of there tomorrow, you don't bring them back safely to their families, I promise you, on everything that I love, listen, everything, I will dedicate the rest of my life. I will invest every penny in everything I have into bringing every single woman out to speak against you and bring this shit to the Listen, there's already enough evidence to put you away. And the thing is, you have an opportunity right now to let those women go. You have an opportunity right now to show the world, I'm a better man than this. I even said to you on the live, I said, Alicia, stop trying to bullshit me. And, and you stopped. Because you know what? You knew I knew you were bullshitting me. Okay? And so, so listen, bro. You're scared right now. You're hurt. And this is why you told me you love me because you want you, you want you want me to become your friend, and then you try to win me over because you know that's the tactic. It's hello, it's uh, narcissism one on one, brother. Listen, let those women go. All you got to do is let them go, leave them alone. Go do your life. Go live your life. If you don't do that, bro, I promise you, the wrath of God is coming upon you. And you know what? It's all right. Listen. You're telling me to come down there and get them? Yeah, you, 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 tell me where you are. I'll come down right now. I'll come down right now. Tell me where you are. He told me to come down and get them. Okay. I'll do it right now. If you're watching this live, or if you're going to watch this, or whatever, this fucking Instagram thing, I want you to know one thing. You want me to come get them? I'll come get them. And you know what? I'll do everything in my power to make sure while I'm getting them, I'm getting you. Because you know what? You're a sucker. And you're so weak that you thought that reverse psychology bullshit was going to work with me. I told you again, you fucked with the wrong guy. You really, really did. Because you would have fired in me. And that fire has nothing to do with this platform. That fire has to do with the fact that right now you have a, you are a sucker. You listen. What you have done, done, and let me tell you something. I'm going to call her this. Yo, listen. Star is a goddess, bro. Star is a beautiful. She has a beautiful soul, man. You, man, you, you break these women. When I saw her yelling at you, when I, when I, when I heard. They, all the food you eat and the and all the clothes you buy, and then you make these girls starve or eat lentil bean soup every day or whatever other shit, the rice that you feed, not letting them bathe. Bro, do you get this? You That is this. Like, what you, what, she's a goddess, bro. You know why? Because you, you couldn't handle her because she was too much for you. Because you know that her alone will take you down. That woman got something more spiritual than you will ever. Listen, you don't even know how to probably spell spiritual. Never mind, be spiritual. But I'm going to tell you something. This woman, this black goddess, thank you. To, thank you. Thank you so much for, 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 for everything that you've done to set her free. Because you know what? You didn't set her free. She set herself free by leaving your dumb ass. And now exposing the truth about who you are to these women. Because at the end of the day, bro, you're a sucker. You're a sad man. You're dying inside. You know the end is coming. And you're getting, don't get that Jim Jones mentality because I know how you talk. He's talking like he's suicidal to me. I, this guy's fucking creeped me out. I know it's reverse psychology. He, he he almost had me feeling bad. That's how good he is. To be able to suck at a cult leader's son, you got to be a good fucking cult leader, bro. Come on. They think about it, man. Like you're a fucking magician. And I know how easy you get to manipulate these girls. But let me tell you something. You don't let them go. I swear to God, I will go to the ends of this earth until you are in prison. And guess what? You're taught. You already know. You already know because you're calling me in fear. You already know. You already know who you fucked with. You fucked with God's daughters. And guess what? I hate that. So guess what? I'm coming for you. <laughs>